Welcome back to the Almost Friday Podcast. Before we get into the episode with Cody Co., we just want to remind you guys we have a live show at the Bourbon Room October 5th. That's a week from today. Get your tickets. It's going to be a blast. we got special guest Luke Knoll on. It's going to be a night that you will never forget. We're selling t-shirts that will only be available once there. So you got to get them. You gotta fuck and Emily's them. worn all of them and we haven't washed them. So. so you get that good, 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 sweet <laughs> Huff that, if you please. All right, and before we get in, this is a message from our show's sponsor, BetterHelp, okay? Yes. Make your brain your friend with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash beers today to get 10% off your first month. Now, Liam, is that BetterHelp, H-E-L-P, dot com slash beers? That's it. That's okay, exactly cool. that. Okay, go, cool. Go check it out. And here is one more word from a sponsor. Babbel, okay? Get started right now with 55% off your Babbel subscription. For our listeners, go to Babbel.com slash Friday. That's 55% off at Babbel.com slash Friday. Friday. Now, Liam, is that babble, B-A-B-B-E-L, dot com, slash Friday? That's exactly right. And remember, rules and restrictions may apply. Well, and now obviously. here's Cody Co. Baby, can't you see? I'm calling a guy like you. Should wear a warning. It's dangerous. I'm falling. <clears throat> There's no escape. Can't I wait. I need a hit. So baby, give it, give me it. You're dangerous. I'm, I'm loving, loving it. it. Whoa. Wow. All right, cut. <laughs> Holy fuck. That was electric. Guys, we have Cody Co. on the Almost Friday podcast today. Welcome, Cody. Thank you. Thanks hey, how do you there. how do you say your last name? Co. Just co. No, that's a lie. Okay. Hot start. Oh, oh, okay. It's Brent. <laughs> and good to see you. Good to see you as well. In my real last name. Yeah. We can cut it. Collegesic. Collegesic. I was yeah. way off. Is that private information? No, nah, not really. I mean, it's like, there's like a million clips of me saying it. We can. But I like to, th- I like to, you know, it makes me feel better when I'm like, no, I don't want to say it. But it's yeah. everywhere. So Okay, Emily, right. at 135, 40, cut that part. Yeah. Write that down. Yeah. <laughs> what I just said? Yeah. <laughs> We've been realizing that when we ask Emily to bleep something, the bleep makes it sound like we're saying something so much worse. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Actually saying. She Definitely. made me sound like I was screaming the end. <laughs> no way, yeah, really? You Dude, wait, actually? Did. No, no, no. What, what we, do you mean I probably did? I mean, weren't you in That's the room? Okay, crazy. The one from last week, everyone's asking about what you said. You, you, wait, hold on. Wait, can you, pl- can you play it? The clip is yeah. there? Is it clipped out somewhere? I don't know where we would. It was. I forget what was the context for it. But it, it was, was like, oh, I was saying that I was. Playing... I think you said, "What's your favorite slur?" <laughs> yeah, yeah. And then he, you said, <laughs> "Yeah." And then for ten minutes, I just <laughs> <laughs> I said, "Well, what's? I mean, what's my favorite movie?" Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Can you have a favorite movie? <laughs> but I, I was saying that I had started like playing this video game that had like a toxic community, and I was saying kids kept calling me the N word. And then I quoted someone calling me the R word, and she bleeped that part. And I don't know how, it's, but it sounded like I screamed the N word at the top of my life. It looked so bad. Thank God we watched it before we put it up. <laughs> no, on it's YouTube. not on YouTube. I made you take it out. Oh, yeah. okay, okay, okay. It was uh, we incriminating. Used... <laughs> That's so funny, dude. Dude, I was just telling Will, I uh, I don't know if you've ever gotten a comment that what the hell is that? This what did you? What did you, did you say? Did you say the N word? Uh, <laughs> what? <the heck? laughs> Emily, please bleep that. <laughs> if you get it, then I would be doing a disservice to the. Just gym. guess what he you says. Cheers. <laughs> no, Don't we're not doing. <laughs> we're not doing. This. Move on. Wait, why? Move why? on. Why? <laughs> we're moving on. It was evil. It was bad. It was naughty. And I All right, cut out one thirty-seven forty-one. Uh, no, forty-two. Yeah. Forty-two. Stop. Sorry. Cut. Okay, cut what he Wait. just said at one thirty-seven forty-six. And Wait. Cut okay, this. go back to one thirty-seven thirty and just cut out the previous three seconds from hey, that. Hey, hey, man. <laughs> Dude, look at look at me in this clip. There was a comment that said, uh, "Looks like Liam, <laughs> Liam pulled his hair off of a corpse from the <laughs> morgue," and I don't think I'm ever gonna forget. I don't think I'm ever gonna like take my hat off. It really does. Were you? Did you sleep in a hat, yeah, dude? I was. I, I was just like wearing a hat all morning, and I had like wet hair, so it pressed it down. And then I thought, you know what? I always get comments about how often I wear hats, and 
I looks, regretted taking it off. It yeah. looks like a serial killer. <laughs> I mean, it looks like yeah. this is the first time you haven't worn a hat in like years. It looks like a woman's pubes. <laughs> it looks like a mom's pubes. It's not great. Who, but, your own moms? Yeah. That's Honestly, play sure. the rest of this video. You'll really like this last episode. That's just what... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you mind? Just play that real quick. Just the last 45 minutes. But have you ever had anything that... Because that's going to stick with me for the rest... I had that one and then another one about my earlobes. And both of those will never leave my brain. Have you ever gotten one that's just like, that's going to be there forever? Oh, my God. Um, well, I mean, the, the first thing I think of... I've told this story before, but I, I do think it's really funny. I... Did an acting class one time. Did I tell you guys this? I don't think so. Mm-mm. I did an acting class. It was... You know her? I've heard of her. Okay. Billy's in it right now. Oh, okay. Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> so, um, well, I shouldn't dox him. You can, you can, you can, can you we'll bleep, bleep that? Bleep, bleep that. that. Yeah, yeah. Do, and like just try not to the say N-word? the N-word again. <laughs> yeah, no, don't do that. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, part of the, like, one of the exercises you do, like, you know, near the beginning of the class... The lesson she's trying to teach is when you're starting out in the industry, you should try to lean into your typecast, like lean into it so that you get your foot in the door and then you can explore other roles after the fact. But you should really try and embrace it because a lot of actors like they know what, you know, they might not be aware of what they could get cast easily as. And if they are, they try to fight it. So she basically would, you know, she made us all sit in a circle and uh, she would go around the circle and you know, she'd point at you and the rest of the class would look at you no. and then write down what they think your typecast <laughs> no is. No way. Yeah. And so... Oh, my God. And so... And then we'd go around the class one by one and everyone would shout out what they thought you look like, basically. Oh. And Pedophile. dude, it was like... It was crazy. <laughs> no, it was literally like two people before me. It was like lawyer, doctor, scientist. Oh, you're like a cool teacher. Like all really respectful and nice... And then it got to me, and it was like, sells coke in the bathroom. <laughs> oh, dude, like, shitty DJ. Oh, like, and it was everything like I actually was. They, like, one of the guys was like, influencer. Oh, and everyone was like, oh, dude, totally. <laughs> you piece of shit, dude. Like, they just shat on me, dude, for, like, the whole circle. Just, like, someone would say something, and the rest of the people would go, yup, yup, I see it. Somebody literally said, sells coke in the bathroom. <laughs> and somebody was like, yes, oh, my God. Drug dealer, you ever going for that? And I'm like... I guess now I will after I kill myself. I would get I would get Brock Turner biopic. Yeah. I'd have to sit with that. Tucker Carlson. Oh, um, oh my God, corpse hair. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, oh, uh, uh, mom's pubes on your head. Dead guy, NCIS. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's horrific, dude. Yeah, no, it was pretty pretty fucking brutal. How old were and you when you did the acting class? This was like, th- uh, like I don't know. A year before COVID, maybe so, like twenty eighteen or twenty nineteen. Okay, so people in your class also were like they knew who you were. No, 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 no. There was one. I'm pretty sure Fusi was in that class. No Fousey way, Tube. I'm pretty sure that's hilarious. I think because there was another guy in it that like did. I remember thinking like, oh, I've seen you on YouTube, and I think it was him. But um, I don't think I don't think my class knew. I don't know. Is maybe. he still live streaming every single day? The Fousey guy? Yeah. I think he's in like yes. mental, uh, like a mental institution or something. Dude, free Fousey. Can you Google him? Yeah, I know, right? He's He's oh, been all over my TikTok the last couple months. Let me feast my ass on this. Do you, do you like the clips? No. Oh, so he actually did get hospitalized. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm kidding. Okay. No, no, no. Because his, his content has been manic from yeah, what yeah, yeah. I've seen. I think, I think, I mean, from what I can tell, he's aware that That's you know, good. there's something. And I think he... No, I think I, he's gotten help in the past. Yeah, 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 definitely. Like, he went on, like, a hiatus for a long time and then came back and did, like, a 24-7 stream and was doing, like, insane shit. Betterhelp.com. <clears throat> he actually said the N-word just like you. <laughs> just hey, like you. Hey, hey. <laughs> All right. Let's reel it in. Also, that's, cra- <laughs> that's crazy. That's crazy. That, so- <laughs> that's crazy that you said it probably was the N-word. <laughs> Like like I like I've said it oh, sorry, before, I I and you were that. like, "Well, I've heard it so many times." Yeah, you're like really been. framing these guys. No, no, he did not say the N word. Let's pa- put it on record, but they do say lots of crazy things that none of you want to hear. We say kooky, wanky stuff. Okay, wanky little stuff. Lo- little locker room punk. <laughs> little LT. Okay, nothing bad. I just saw Mr. Beast up there. What was what was he like? In person? Oh yeah. yeah, you got to do the you got to race the cars. Yeah, that was pretty cool. That's yeah, insane. Yeah, that was like. The coolest day ever yeah. as like a guy, 
you know? Get called up to the That's like leagues. a dude. I love fast cars. Yeah, exactly, you know? I love that shit. I mean, I don't even like cars like that, but I, I literally, like, the 12-year-old boy in me came out, and I was just, like, giggling and, like, oh, my God, fast. It goes fast. <laughs> How fast did you go? I went, the fastest I went is 70, which doesn't sound fast, but, like, when you're on a fucking oval like that, it's, like, the straightaway is not that far. Yeah. Or not that long. So, like, by the time you know it, you're already turning into another corner. So, and I don't really, like, I'm not an experienced driver. There was no one, there's no safety people there. It's not like they were, like, put on your seatbelt, nothing. I didn't, the waiver that I, I would signed. be scared. <laughs> I, don't to like, I don't want to like get him sued, but like it was. <laughs> I'd be scared to drive a car like that over thirty miles per hour. Also, Emily just went through maybe ninety seconds of Cody Co. Mr. Beast. Well, I was trying to get pictures of, of the it. yeah. And one time I hit hard at work. I hit ninety in my mom's Rav Four going down a street right when I got my license just to test out what speed felt like. That's and it had the the steering wheel locked and the car started shaking. And like the I've never gone that fast ever again. It was the scariest thing. Where like the car is just like out of. Like I could wait. Why did it lock? I don't know. Because it was like starting to. It was just like, yeah. I was like, like doing this a little bit, and I just like slowly. You like, saw it. Yeah. yeah. Were, you, were you pushing the brakes a little bit? No, I just like slowly let off the gas, and I was like, that could have been. Was this on a residential street? Yeah. It was like a mile long. It was a. That's I, crazy. I hit a kid. Yeah. That's that's crazy. Yeah. I think driving fast is like one of the scariest things ever. And one time. I mean, it wasn't even, this isn't even like me driving fast. This is just kind of a similar story. I was like, where I'm from, Calgary, it's like the roads get super icy in the winter. And it was like, one day it was like minus 40. There was a bunch of black ice. <laughs> Not bleep that. No, black ice sounds like black guys. Yeah. It does. I'm not saying black guys. I'm saying there was a bunch of black ice on the road. Seen the Keen Peel sketch? No, there's I a whole haven't. sketch about a weatherman who's like, <laughs> "Oh, really? Fuck. Look out for black guys on the road." <laughs> there's a lot of white snow coming down too. Yeah, yeah. seriously. Uh, so I hit some of that, some black guys, mm -hmm. and I started swerving, like fishtailing like that, but on ice. So like you can't get control, and I bumped over the median, and ended up on like there was a wave, just like a fucking oncoming wave of traffic just headlights that's all i saw and this is like a highway like i mean it's, speed limit was like 80 kilometers an hour probably and all i saw i was 360 and i would just see the headlights whoa like start to get closer and closer and then i bumped back over the median and like regained control somehow and then just pulled over to the side of the road and started crying <laughs> holy shit for like 10 minutes oh. and uh yeah it was fucking horrifying what kind of car was it Honda Element, mm. 2001 Honda Element. A good fear cry is unlike anything else. Oh, yeah, dude. Scared tears. Oh, yeah. It was a good one. Like, <laughs> 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 it's like that Rick and Morty episode where they come back in the spaceship. Oh, you yeah, they I'm start screaming about? crying. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's it. That's great. Oh. Mm -hmm. So we just shot the Bop It music video with you. Yeah. And I think that was such a fun shoot, but my favorite memory was when four different families came up in the middle of the shoot with their kids. Oh, yeah, yeah. Can you tell up. this story? No. There yeah. was sort of... It was yeah. sort of in the BTS. We posted a BTS video we yesterday. Watched, we watched it. Oh, video. you did? Okay. Yeah. Did, they, did Matt, like, send that to you before it went up? No, so I watched it like, oh, I said I know, I, <laughs> I, I know, right? Yeah. I kind of thought you just like, yeah, I don't know. I got to remind. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> <clears throat> I guess sparkling water was a bad choice. But during, I have to remind him to do that. So well, sorry about that. No, while he was I shooting, said, I just kept saying, "Do not post that." Like, <laughs> okay, yeah, so it's like, it pretty clear. Cool. <laughs> okay, good, yeah, good. Yeah. Uh, but so in the <laughs> the Bop music video, there's a there's a kid in the music video, and so our producer Joe and Dylan sent out uh, emails like the day or two days before trying to find the kid and the family. So they sent out like a bunch to three or four families and then sent them like the address and stuff like, can you be here at seven? And three families or two families didn't respond. One uh, kid responded. He's the kid in the video. As we're shooting Will's scene with the kid at the end of the video in the car, I just see a dad, a sister and a little boy approaching and I was standing there and he the dad says, Is this the this is the shoot? And I go, Yeah. And he goes, Yeah, we're here. And I just 
go, oh, okay, hold on. And I just walked away. And, just <laughs> told Joe, and I was like, hey, that's, that's bad. Um, and oh. then so Joe had to probably have the worst conversation ever with them. And then we're laughing about No, how, it was Dylan. Or Dylan did, yeah. Yeah. Dylan. And, and Tyler was but he had to basically he had to basically tell them like you came to the shoot we booked someone else so you drove here for nothing and you're not yeah. getting paid. They also didn't respond to the email though. No, I know it was their own fault. Yeah. But like, and but yeah, just to make that, it clear how awkward that conversation was, probably yes. And one of the dads was like, they were like, yeah, sorry, <laughs> um, no one responded. And the dad goes, yeah, well, um, the person you were in contact with, uh, my wife, she was in surgery for six hours today. And Dylan goes. Well, I'm sorry, we just didn't hear back. And he goes, "Yeah, well, she was in surgery, so." And he goes, "I don't know what to do." <laughs> dad was like, "Okay, that's fine. Um, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Uh, no, that's fine. Okay, uh, okay." And then he just turned around and walked away. It was like, <laughs> like, and then ten minutes later, another mom and another little boy pull up, and I'm like, "There's no way. Please tell me they're going to fucking some of this, like one of the stores in here." And they start beelining right at us, and that's when I was just like, "Does anyone want a water?" <laughs> yeah, and I just like yeah. walked behind a car for five minutes because I just couldn't fucking look at it. Wait, so it happened twice? It happened twice. It happened twice. I... Isn't that crazy? Two kids didn't respond and then still showed up. That is insane. Yeah. Imagine that was like their, they thought that was their moment. They drove five hours to uh, the shoot. Yeah, they're probably from well, fucking San friends. Diego or like Modesto or something. Brutal. Brutal. But hey, welcome to Hollywood moment. Yeah. Yeah. It's a tell cold, you, cold world out there. I had a welcome moment. to Hollywood moment in that music video and I didn't make the fucking cut. Oh yeah, you got cut out. Yeah. Why'd that happen? You just like were. People don't like me. That's you, why. <laughs> no. There was something about like you on camera. It was just like. <laughs> Yeah, like a vacuum of energy for the. Video. We did those screen yeah. tests where, like, you have a random audience of different like demographics, <laughs> and they all, mm. when your parts came up, just <laughs> yeah, okay. their ears started bleeding. Yeah. yeah, a lot of dry heaving in the room. I don't even think I one made the wide shot. Yeah, of one, the guy whole... one guy shot himself. One guy shot himself. It's not you know worth what? it. <laughs> I feel I do feel bad when they do this to you, I because I listen to the show. Oh, um, and I do feel sometimes I'm like, oh fuck. Which, well, if you lot, lot... like well, that that one where you were, or I watched one of the clips today where you were like. You said you're like I got like hit on at the grocery store and and they're like but you I told them I I could have told them that I had a boyfriend they're like yeah but you've never had one and you never (laughs) but you you never will yeah it's tough I don't know why it like doesn't really phase me that much it's a it's you know it's a fun fun dynamic yeah yeah it just like if it actually bothered me I don't think they'd do it well you're very mean to us outside of the pod and then we get to yes yeah you say the n word all the time (laughs) outside of the pod you yell it at me. No, it you left me a voicemail at 4 a.m. No, I did not. Calling me is, is crazy. It, is yeah. it a nervous tick saying that? <laughs> it's just, you it, it can't be saying it that much. She just said in her house, like her family, it's, it's kosher. That's, that's, just how, that's just how I grew up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, no, it was just, it was a pacing thing. It didn't work pacing wise. And I think the other Yeah, there no, wasn't I enough know, time. I, I actually, when that I watched one, it back, I was like, there just wasn't enough time in that other part. It wouldn't have made sense either. Yeah. My favorite part from the whole shoot is Tyler just having an autistic moment going, okay. Okay, I'm back in on the video now. I lost faith for 20 minutes, but I'm back. And then Cody going, wait, what, what do we need? Like, you lost faith in this? And he goes, yeah, but this shot looks really good, so I'm back now. Yeah, I know. And I was like, what the fuck, man? Dude, so how does... long have you not had faith in this? Dude, he does it every video. Like, the only time I've, I haven't seen him do that was Trapped. Yeah. Every other video we've shot, he's like, I don't know, man. I don't, oh, God, whatever. Let's just Which is, I think, is a fun. good quality to it have is. as a director. It I is. Feel like. But he also is has Asperger's so he yeah, doesn't yeah. know how to hold that off <laughs> yeah, 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 stuff yeah. Like that. <laughs> which is not good because then yes. as a, as a, someone in the cast who is also like funding the video and it was also yeah. like my music video <laughs> I was kind of like wait so it, is this going to be good or not because we're in too deep at this point it's funny in hindsight because yeah. the video is awesome no it is and it's doing pretty well like for a music video, it's doing yeah. pretty well and Trapped just hit a million views I think yeah. it did yeah, yeah it was fucking awesome. that's sick I know. That one I made the cut for. Yes. Yeah. That oh, yeah, that's fun. right. Yeah. Yep. That one was so fun. I, I stayed in that tub for like two hours that night. Did uh, you really? Yeah, after you got out, I go in, and I just stayed there for like two hours. Oh, my God. It was, I don't know how I did I had a, I had a sinus infection during the second day of the uh, Bop It video. I found out like a day later. Cause I no like, way, really? Like, I have a headache. I don't know what's going on. Damn. And that house was just so hot, so by the end of the day, I was Oh, like, yeah. Ooh. I got fucking COVID from Waterfront. Really? Yes. Okay. I flew to Europe. Two days later, and tested positive. As soon as I checked in my hotel, got a massive fever. Supposed to be at my friend's bachelor party, and had to spend the weekend in my hotel room. That 
Love in a separate room from my wife because she's pregnant. Yeah. So yeah. that was the start of my like European vacation. Dude, uh, I was going to ask about Waterfront, actually, because I remember looking up, <clears throat> and maybe five inches from your face, there were 15 human beings' heads. Yeah, yeah. Like, so probably from one of those people, how, I think. How, <laughs> how does that... Is it enjoyable when you have people that are like... Literally like a, a, a swarm of zombies over the DJ table. <laughs> I mean, yeah, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. That, it didn't seem to bother me that day. Because Vegas, you got Because the they were Vegas. dancing, too. Yeah. Like, they, they were, were all having a good time. There were some people that were really overextending their 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 welcome. Yeah, uh, yeah. From, like, from my perspective, I'm sure that you were locked in. <clears throat> the pe- yeah, yeah, exactly. I was just, like, so locked in on what I was doing, you know? <laughs> dialed in i'm an artist you know exactly no i mean some like what gets annoying is when people like hand their phones out and they're like do my be real (laughs) and you're like it shouldn't it shouldn't be like a normal expected thing that works out you know what i mean like i just like you should like they have they do it with so much confidence too they're like do it no do it and it's like (laughs) i'm doing something do you not see i'm like busy but uh why can't they just take a picture of you for the other side of the beat yeah and that i don't give a fuck it's like sure but people there, like, everyone was dancing, having a really good time, which was, like, kind of motivating. Mm-hmm. I don't know. It was fun. I had a great time. Yeah, me too. I had a blast. It was super fun. Again soon? Uh, yeah, I'm going to... What? At the waterfront, I guess, specifically. I'll probably... Yeah. Probably. Nice. How yeah. often are you doing those shows in Vegas with uh, Dylan? It feels like... I don't know if it's the way y'all are <clears> releasing <throat> the content, but it feels like you're doing it, like, once every few weeks. Yeah, I mean, it you was, know? like... I did six in the last, probably, like, six months, so it's... It's been like on average once a month. So is it like a residency thing? Uh, I don't know it, how it works. It, so this was just like a, it's basically a, a deal where I opened for Dylan for six shows, mm-hmm. kind of in the hopes that maybe like they'd like working with me or whatever. Mm-hmm. No, so that's really cool. Like it, it kind of was like, um, you know, it was kind of like a stupid thing that like when I first did the DJ video and everything that I was like, oh, this is kind of like a weird pipe dream. Maybe it'll work out if I, but I like, that's the way I like to, work is just like dream like way too big and then maybe something cool will happen you know yeah, i mean i feel like that's probably like we've all been at that point yeah yeah everything starts off as like a, a joke or like a, a joke un- yeah it's just unrealistic. like yeah exactly you have to yeah you can't admit out loud that you like it no exactly you have to maintain like the healthy optimism in your head you know like i really do believe that like i could probably figure anything out i know it sounds like cocky but like it's not really a cocky thing. It's more like if I work hard enough, I know that something will happen. No, yeah. And it's basically like if you just keep trying it, like doors will open, you know? Yeah. I went to, Ever. I went to, I forget who was the DJ for the show, but it was in Florida at like the, uh, the, maybe it's like the Hard Rock Hotel, like the sh- shit that's shaped like a guitar. And then there's like a big DJ booth. And then the pool is right there. And I, I almost got kicked out because I was splashing too much in the pool. <laughs> I was just going up to people like dancing, being like, Slap down. And then I'd, I'd get underwater and it's like they turn around. Were you 14? Are you a child? <laughs> yeah, like what I was the fuck? 22. <laughs> I was just so hammered. like two years ago. Throwing water balloons at people. My, my friends are like, go splash that guy. And I go, it's like the yeah. biggest, most tad up dude there and just splash him and get underwater. That's <laughs> so funny. What? It's a fucking pool. I can't splash. <laughs> and I like went up to the side and there was like a dude in a red shirt. He's like, you got, you please, please stop doing that. Dude. I've been watching you for 20 minutes. That feels like a Tim Robinson. <laughs> that feels like the same energy as the fucking yeah, zip line. Funny. Yeah. That's great. That's you, really funny. Are you a big uh, gambler when you're there? Like you Yeah. Play, what do you what do you like to play? Everything. Yeah. Yeah. Movie. I love I love it. I'm it's like uh Yeah, it's a pretty big vice. Not like anything you know, like worrisome, but I do It's fun. Like I don't think I'd ever get carried away with it. It's not one of those things. Like there are other things in my life that are like I do have an addictive personality. So I kind of feel myself sometimes like getting, you know, getting pulled a little bit too much by things but yeah. uh the gambling is not one of those things i just really enjoy it but i'm like really good at like stopping when i'm only down you know fifty thousand. yeah <laughs> well i mean we love to use bet mgm when we gamble <laughs> oh, <fuck. laughs> no i'm just kidding um yeah dude every i feel like every time i gamble i play with blackjack and there's always a guy to my right if i like hit or stay when i'm not supposed to he's like there's like a guy that's like, you just fuck. Like, <laughs> and then I like, hate that. Like get the wrong card and be like, yeah, you see nice. It's like, these people are fucking crazy. No, I, I, I agree. Aren't, aren't people crazy? <clears throat> that's, that's these days. 
Uh, no, but especially in Vegas. That's actually true. Yeah, it's so fucking annoying. And some of the dealers are fucking annoying, too. Like, if you sit down and you don't know anything, you can just ask them, like, what does the book say? And they're usually pretty nice. They're like, oh, you're supposed to stay. Or you hit. You know, they usually help you because they want tips. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But some of the dealers just don't, they won't have any of that. They'll, like, roll their eyes and, like, this fucking guy. <laughs> this fucking guy. What do I do? <laughs> that's you, you know? Like Good character. Hmm. I don't care. I can't. I, I, you don't um, gamble? No, not really. Like, I went to Vegas for the first time a few months ago to go to a UFC event, and I sat down at a few tables. I like playing poker with friends. That's a good time. Yeah. Uh, but I just, like, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing, so I just lose everything. And then 20 minutes later, I was like, damn, that was a lot of money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No amount of fun at all. I had no fun. I just Yeah. Lost. I think one of the saddest moments of my life was losing uh, $40 on one spin on the Big Bang Theory slot machine. <laughs> yeah, 40 <laughs> Having Sheldon go bazinga. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, that was, that yeah, was, that's that was hard just, to live down. Yeah, that's brutal. That's just the knife in the fucking, twisting the knife, you know? It's a true story. Bazinga. Mm-hmm. Um, how, how many more months until you'll be a, a true father? Um, uh, two. No, three. October, November, yeah, three. Sweet. Mm-hmm. All right, yeah, yeah. We, well, we, we figured we could give you some fatherly advice. Oh, yeah. So I'm open to it. I need all I can get. I haven't read a single book or anything, so. No books um, read? I no. It's all good. It's okay, all can I kick it off? Yes, you can. Adderall, Adderall, Adderall. Okay. For me or the kids? Just that's. The kid. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Got it. Okay. After childbirth, your wife is going to be very tired for a month or two. You're mm-hmm. going to have to pick up a lot of the housework and the chores and stuff. Okay. And like when she tells you that she's tired, very important that you remind her that you're fucking tired too. Okay. <laughs> so like, here we'll act it out. You're your wife. You tell I'm you. You okay. say that you're tired. I'm my wife. Okay. I'm tired. <sighs> I'm just so tired. Like, okay. My yeah. So am I. Like what? The, what? What do I do now? Like. How long are you going to fucking milk this whole, like, okay. A lot of people. I mean, I have literal milk. Do you want to fucking metal? I'm literally milking myself for this baby. Right. And it's like, it's messing up my nipples and it's tough. Yeah, I've been taking. Physically, I'm going through a lot right now. I thought you'd understand that. So am I. It's fucking, it's like. What are you going through? I took the trash down the end of the driveway and they didn't even take it because it was so full. And now that's something I got to fucking deal with. Like, I'm physically destroyed right now. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, you fucking, you, I, this, you knew what was gonna, I just, like, I just feel like I need to, like, go in the garage. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna hang out in the garage for a while. And that's how, that's, okay. That's how you should play it out. Okay, 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 good. Just let her know that you're tired, too. Yeah, 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 no, that's, that's great advice. I haven't read that in, in, in any of, like, the, you know, articles or anything. That, so, I got this right from an article. Oh, you did? Yeah. Okay. Do you know if it's a boy or a girl yet? It's a boy. Congrats. Thanks. Well, that ruins half of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Just pretend so, you don't know. Thanks. <laughs> if it's a girl, make sure you give it 70% of the attention and love so it's ready for the real world. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> that's pretty good. No, I just like you want to prepare them. Like you want to like, right, Emily? Seventy percent. I go fucking less than that. Okay. <laughs> Thought like a laugh track would come. Yeah. <laughs> like a boom. Um, when your wife is breastfeeding, give her back rubs. Bring her glasses of milk so every time she runs out of milk, she doesn't have to run down the kitchen and start chugging fucking. Is that, is that, is that how it works? Yeah. Goes in the mouth directly Out the, the tits? tits? Yep. Really? Mm-hmm. I thought it was she develops the milk internally. That's what so it that is. Yeah. That's really, that's a myth. And you don't, like, you don't want your wife running downstairs, deflated, no milk, mm-hmm. just chugging, but you bring her the milk. Right, okay, okay, I will. Camelback. Yes. Milk. Okay. Anyway. Yes, I will do that. Thanks. Thank you for the advice. Of course. Yeah. Um, one that my parents did for me that I thought was really, really helpful, kind of helped me mature a little earlier, um, was that for potty training, if I had an accident on the floor, they would just push my head in it and rub my nose in it, and I knew not to ever do that again. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'll keep that in mind for sure. So did you, you were like fully, did you get something in your I don't want to think about it. I don't okay. want to think about it again. I don't Sorry. want to think about it again. Sorry, yeah. Uh, uh, can you do your advice yeah. now? I'm just uh, wondering if I should get the mouth 
open so that it gets in the mouth. Yeah, that helped. It, that helped me remember it. Okay, take the teeth. Okay, yeah. <laughs> the, you should see no pink gums. <laughs> yeah. Should just be all. Should look like a double <laughs> yeah. horseshoe. Gotcha. I got one similar to that. Uh, yeah. Project all your insecurities onto your son at a young age. So that when he gets gets older, like he'll have a chip on his shoulder and like really try to prove you wrong, and in the end become successful. Oh, okay. Yeah. Like what? Like what uh, kind of... he, he, like what will he end up doing? Or no, like what kind of insecurities? Like when and what should I do? When he's five, be like, you're a lot smaller than all the other boys in the grade. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like why are you the yeah. smallest boy in the grade? Yeah, that's stuff good. like and like like that'll matter. You know that'll matter in the next few years as you develop. Girls really don't like small guys. Yeah, I think you're gonna end up being pretty small. Yeah, yeah maybe even be like, it's, haven't all your friends hit puberty already? Yeah, yeah, yeah. and then maybe be like, you, and then like when he walks in the room, just be like, oh, ew. Yeah. ew. yeah, and when he's you, when he's twelve, oh, what is that? Wait, he's my son. <laughs> When he's 12, just be like, I had a beard already. I don't know what the fuck is wrong with you. You must have yeah, a Yeah, I had a f- full pubic bush <laughs> by the time I was your age. <laughs> by like the time I was your age. Dumbledore's beard down there. <clears throat> yeah. In eighth grade. Building I was a on, man. Can I build on that? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I think a lot of people don't realize that kids are the perfect vessel for you to project your um, unrealized aspiration. Oh, yeah. Everything totally. you couldn't accomplish... Yeah. That's now his his what his he, dream. Yeah. 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 Yes. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Mm. Do you have anything else? Yeah, uh you get to this is some of these are just cool sh- things you get to do because your dad you finally get to buy a leaf blower. That's pretty sweet. Get on that days after she gives birth. Okay. Um you get to buy a bunch of mulch now. You get to get really into you're going to know about all the different types of mulch. That is pretty cool. And you know, you're going to be outside doing a lot of mulch shit. Uh yeah. you get to buy yourself dumb shit that says world's best dad. You get to have that around the house and like post pictures with it. Ironically, it's really cute. Um, you get to take lots of photos of your baby. It's important to take lots of photos of your baby. Dress your baby up like an old man. That shit's fucking funny. Okay. Send it to your friends. Okay. I like seeing shit like that. Okay. Send me pictures of your baby dressed up like an old man. And Air, with a, like a filter on it too. Like whatever you want. Just filter? like send me options. Okay. So I want to have them. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I like shit like that. I like just like cute babies. Like he's got an old. Put a bald cap on him. Okay. Give them wrinkles. Okay. Go out. Like, okay. do it. Like, really do it and send them to me. Here, <laughs> Um, What else do I got here? I like that all of those were just things that dads do. <laughs> I was yeah, expecting I a, a sicko twist. Not really. The classic Liam <laughs> Cullen dark twist. Yeah. You get to uh, start playing with toys in the bathtub again. That's cool. That's a lot of fun. Uh that is... I wish that I could now take a bath and have a couple ships around there. Yeah, or some mulch. Yeah, throw some mulch in there, yeah. just like really set the scene. Oh my god. Bath toys is a another one I had. <laughs> um, uh take your newborn baby up to a hill or a cliff and hold it up like lying. No. That's fun. Oh, oh, I thought you were gonna say hold it up like Michael, Michael Jackson, Jackson did. Yeah. No, that's yeah. but that's what he was doing, wrong setting. If you do it outside, no one's around to do that. Take your newborn baby to the zoo. Hold it up to the monkeys when it's naked. See what the monkeys do. <laughs> monkeys, like, freak out. Have you ever seen a video of a monkey at the zoo freaking out a newborn baby? <clears throat> I love those things. I love those videos. I wish. I hope you make them. Um, what else we got here? I got so many. <laughs> <laughs> How many? Crazy. <laughs> Whatever you do, do not buy or adopt a pit bull. Um, I, got so, I got some other ones. Avoid. Avoid that at all costs. Um, <laughs> you got to read to it. You got to read to your baby. What are you going to read to your son? It's important that you talk to him like a person. Um, what am I going to read to him? Mm-hmm. I don't know, like car blogs. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> Wait, have you put up like headphones with Bop It? <laughs> yeah. the stomach? No, yeah. I haven't. You need to do that. I need to do that. Because it'll make them like smart. I, re- I read that somewhere and it's like makes them smart. I don't think that song would make them smart. Mm-hmm. Prove it. You should. That's true. Hit up I feel like. What? Have your salespeople hit up Facebook, see how much money they'll get to live stream the birth. Do co- get oh. get some brand deals get out a of this. Hondo. Okay, you think so? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I see baby, I think brand deals. I think I think market expansion. That's the number one thing I'm gonna do. Yeah. Definitely is exploit the child for like monetary gain. Baby well, gap. Well that's a given. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I guess I am stupid yeah. of me to even say it because um, it's like yeah. That like, was stupid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like why even have a kid if you're not, um, not gonna do that. Well, my last piece so. of advice is <clears throat> before you realize it, you're gonna develop dad strength. So I just start pulling some of those punches. Okay. Yeah. What do you mean? Like, it's like ease up a little. Pulling some of the punches? Yeah. On my son? And? 
Yeah, whoever. whoever. Just anyone. Whoever's getting. Oh, oh, I, whoever's I mouthing off. Oh, Noel. So? Noel. Okay. Got it. I thought you were going to talk about. Go easy on Noel. Okay, I will do. He's had a hard. He's had a hard time. Yeah, I thought you were talking about my. Yeah. Don't let Connor Wood babysit it. Him. That. It, never in a million years. <laughs> <laughs> never in a million years would I let that happen. Who's one of your friends that you, you would actually like? Not people in your family, just a dude you know. Like, would you like Kenny? Watch my kid? Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, probably. Kenny seems like... I don't know. Like, yeah, yeah like, I, I know Kenny pretty well, but in, like, a work way. Yeah. So, but, like, from from the times that we've hung out and everything, I think that he's a trustworthy guy. He's a really nice dude. What about but my, my... In terms of my close friends, like, I just feel like they'd fuck it up, you know? Yeah. yeah. But they'll probably have kids one day, so it's like, I mean, they'll yeah, I don't know. I'll probably fuck something up, you know. You, yeah. No, what? No. Yeah, I don't you know. Got all the support of the world from guys like us. Who's gonna be? Yeah, yeah. Who's gonna be a good? Cop I would not let you guys. No, you shouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> who's gonna be what? You'd come over and I'd just be in a bathtub alone. Like, I don't know where the fuck that guy is. <laughs> just, He's just is that press- a mulch bathtub. <laughs> 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 who's gonna be a good cop? Who's gonna be a bad cop? You got to figure that in the, out. In the in the marriage? Yeah. Who's going to be like, you um, can't fucking smoke grass in my house? And who's going to be like, this is cool as long as you're doing like, it? She's fucking yeah. best. I don't yeah, care. yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't care. I don't care. You know, I feel like I feel like it's a dickhead move to be like, I'm going to be that that guy, the, mm-hmm. you know, the, the chill one or whatever. Mm-hmm. I'm probably not, actually. I feel like I'm the more, yeah, I feel like I would be the, I don't know. Depends. He's going to go to Duke and he's going to swim. Yeah, like I, I definitely like want my kid to like do shit, you know? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be like, oh, you can fucking do whatever you want. I'm going to be like, be a DJ. <laughs> <laughs> that is your dream now, you know? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, as long as he's like a headlining DJ or like a pro surfer or whatever, like, I'll be happy. <laughs> and I'm going to be easy. That'll totally be, easy on him. That'll be based As on long him. as, you know, he's like super rich by the time he's 20. Mm-hmm. 18. Yeah. He needs to be a high value man. That's true. <laughs> as long as that works out, then I'm yeah. chilling, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I think I, that's brand <laughs> that's deals. It. Is that all my advice? Anything. That's it. That's all. That's all I got. Yeah. This show is sponsored by Better Help. I've been having a lot of crazy thoughts recently. I can't control them. Thought patterns that I'm not really hyped on. You spiral a lot. I've been spiraling. But you hard. haven't been recently. What what changed? Uh, I started using Better Help more. You know, getting to talk with some professionals. It's very nice. It's so it it turns out just a great way to make things, you know, like come together in your mind a little bit. It's just to talk them through. Talking helps. Therapy gives you a place to do that so you can get out of your negative thought cycles and find some mental and emotional peace, okay? So if you're thinking about starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Get a break from your thoughts with BetterHelp. Visit BetterHelp.com slash beers today to get 10% off your first month. You're so good at all this. Thanks. Well, how do you spell it? How do I spell BetterHelp? H E L P dot com slash beers. I guess I just answered your question. Let's get back in there. Okay, I'll start with my character. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay, this is um uh Chuff Digsley. Nice. Okay. Nice. <laughs> Off the dome. Wow. Wow. Off the dome. Yeah. You work at a Walmart and it's okay. closing. It's like one minute left till it closes and okay. I run in, okay? Okay, you run in. Yeah, you're like closing. Okay. Up. Okay. Ready? Yep. Excuse oh, me. Oh, I'm so sorry, sir. We're about to close. Oh, no, that's fine. Yeah, fun. it's 10 p.m., uh, so we close at 10. Okay. Um, sorry, I'm actually looking for someone that works here. Um, looking for uh, Chelsea. Is she here? Ah, uh, I think her shift is over. Is she Just... walking to her car alone tonight? Um, I don't think so. I think maybe she, I don't know. You guys she, have she... security cams out front, probably. Yeah, yeah, we, yeah, we do. Damn it. Okay. Well, you know, I, actually, I was here earlier, and I I left something here. I was wondering if you saw anything. I left a hat. Maybe you saw a hat. Um, no. No, I can check the lost and found. Yeah, please check the lost and found. I left a couple things. Um, okay, what else? Um, Can you hurry? I just need just get the lost and found out. I just need to, like, check. Is this it right here? I don't know. I don't work here. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that this is it, so I'll check. It was. I'll let, I'll let you know if it's mine. Or, you know, yeah, let's just see if it's, like, in there. I just left some stuff in there. There is a phone in here. Okay. There's two phones. Uh, I left a pair of shoes. Yep, those are mine. <laughs> yep. Okay, yeah, these are yours? Are, <laughs> these are probably my brother's, because I think my brother had left these. I don't want Yeah. No, these... 
Oh, God. You know what this is? That's disgusting. What is it? No. Oh, there's a bunch of lewd photos on here. A <laughs> bunch of different <laughs> customers. Oh, my God. I got to destroy this stuff. My brother's sick. Oh, what? man. My brother's a sicko. Are these to see like are these like upskirt? <laughs> I don't know what the heck I don't know what the heck this is, but I'm gonna I gotta throw these in the incinerator. Okay, sir, you have to leave. Hmm? <laughs> you have to leave. We're closing. What? <laughs> Alright, that's tough. That's tough. I like that. Is that's that what tough. it was? Yeah. Okay, yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. I'm sorry, I was in I also like you know I I guess no yeah that was great <clears throat> I guess I get really nervous for these it's a, don't be nervous I I like the idea that somehow he left Walmart without his shoes on. <laughs> <laughs> he's like oh crap <laughs> I wanted to do like a a, a Polaroid but I only had one yeah. it's like a, a giant like a actual <laughs> Polaroid on the bottom of the shoe pointing up but it's just too much work yeah and I'm just so tired at the end of the day I want to go home and lay down yeah take a bath. Get some Epsom salt. Get your get your. Get I used a bath bomb for the first time recently. Actually, how was it? Fucking amazing. Look Whose phone it. is the other one? Uh, it's like a a company phone. <laughs> okay, it's just that we use for shoots. Oh, nice. Yeah. Oh, you're serious? Company phone. That's company pretty cool. Man. Yeah. Dang. No biggie. All right. Well, that was tough. And it, thank you, Emily. Thanks. Okay. Um. All right. Okay, it's going to take a little bit of setup here, but you are twelve-year-old brothers, Malachi and Dormos. You live in a you live in a village called Goliathin. Your village has been at war with the Atrovix, an evil race of humanoids that live in the nearby Mist Fort for over a hundred years. Two weeks ago, your okay. father and the rest of the Goliathan army went to battle in the Mist Forest. Battle now they are finally forest. returning. Battle you are looking for your father as the ar- army walks into eyesight over the hill. Okay. You're searching for him. You can't really see him. I am Akros, a soldier and your father's best <laughs> oh friend. God. Not your blood uncle, but you call me uncle and I approach you. And okay. just one second. Uh, let me, let me f- you Wait, got it? He's Malachi and I'm Dormos. <laughs> yes. That was the most setup I've ever fucking heard in my life. All right. And you're looking for your father to return from battle. Okay. okay. Malachi, is it? No. Is that Papa? I, I thought I saw him. We'll Papa. never find him. Oh, jeez. Boys. Uncle. Where's your mother? Back at home. What's wrong, Uncle? I... What happened to Papa? <laughs> we see four soldiers carrying a, a stretcher more, made out of More stories. Mm. And Deerskin, your father lies dead on, on the stretcher. <gasps> no. Papa. No. Uncle, it... We were surrounded by Atrovix. He fought so hard. Those bastards! Your father fought so bravely until the very end. No! He loves you. Malachi! Papa! That can't be Papa! (sighs) Papa! (laughs) I will avenge your father. I will. Uncle... I will kill every last Atrovix in the Mist Forest. I'll kill them all. When you guys grow old... You too will join this army in this battle. I'm sorry. I'm your father now. Will you come, Papa. He's dead. You can watch over us, but he'll forever be our father, Malachi. He will. You don't know how proud he was of you, but he told me every day. What did he say? He said, "Dormos, my bravest son, bravest, and Malachi, my smartest." Mm. I'll take it. He saw himself in both of you in different ways. You're the men of the house now. You must take care of your mother. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna have some sex with her, probably. <laughs> Wait, what? I'm probably, I'm probably gonna. Well, you sooner, can't do that. Sooner rather or later, your mother's gonna need <clears throat> something. Uncle, I don't want to hear that gonna, stuff. Yeah, what is sex? I'm eight. I mean, her. four. I showed you what sex was. Did you? Oh. Uh, let's move on. Soon I'll give you new brothers. Uh, this is a little fast. Yeah, I don't know if I want new Can brothers. Can we fucking bury him first? We'll burn him at dawn. Can we wait? Day. We'll burn him at dawn. When are you moving in? Soon. Like now? I'll start with weekends and then eventually I'll move all my stuff in. <sighs> this kind of stinks father's dead yeah 
I'm not gonna lie, I killed him. What? What? I mean, he was, so we were surrounded by Atrovix in the this I thought it was the Atrovix. It's the Atrovix. Where's your mom? She's she's at home. She's not at home. Tell her to bathe and shave. <laughs> I'll be over in five. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> that was. I told you this immense setup. Crazy <laughs> amount of setup. I thought it's, the setup was going to be I the thought that character. was the character, yeah. yeah I like thought keeping on going with the, the setup. <laughs> I, did, I did, just like it was 20 minutes. Yeah. 20 minutes of world building. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> just, to get, just to get to, I don't know. Nothing. Just to <laughs> be like, and action. That was awesome. He's dead. He's dead. And. <laughs> okay, I got, I got uh, one more. Okay. Please. Okay. Um, I'm Oliver Abenthe. Oh. <laughs> and um, mine's also mythical. How nice. fun is that? Nice. Love so, it. Oliver Abenthe. You are Fenrir. Nice. And you are Goyo. Okay. And you both work at a <laughs> potion shop. Okay. And I come in. Okay. 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 What's your name one more time? Oliver Fenrir Goyo. Goyo. You can be whatever you want, but I thought. I love it. Goyo. Yeah, okay. The Goy Man. <laughs> <laughs> Ring! What's up, guys? Hi, welcome in. How can we... This is our potion shop. Yeah, welcome to Goyman's Potions. Guys, it's me, Oliver. Oh, I didn't even recognize hey. you. How are you? Oh, man? holy shit. Dude, oh, up? my oh, God. Back it's again, been, yeah. Dude, forever. How, it's been a long time. Busy. Yeah. Business is booming. Yeah, yeah. booming. Uh, we're thinking about expanding to a couple of new locations. A lot hopefully. of people are looking for potions. Wow, yeah. Yeah, yeah I don't know yeah. what it is, COVID or what, but... Me yeah. and my wife, she handed me the grocery list while she's probably off at the spa or at one of the hot springs. So <laughs> I'm doing all the shopping. Yeah. Classic, yeah. Um, so my wife gave me this list. Um, I'm just going to need a few potions. Um, a strength potion. Cool. Uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got yep. that. I, I think, can hear uh, yeah. me, me. Energy potion, some stamina potion. Should. Stamina. Yeah, I think that one's Should. in the back. I yeah, can go look that. if we have okay. any more of that. Um, what's your special today? Just uh, it, it, something was sleep. A sleep potion was our so I'll take sleep two, one. Two yeah. of those. Yep. Yeah. Just okay, cool. It is. Cool. Um, and then my wife, this is going to sound crazy. She's been, we've been breeding horses, so we need a potion, a potion to kind of, you know, help the horses mate, get them excited. Get them really excited. Okay. So animal Wait. husbandry, maybe. Say say again. Just so what is, to, what is to get horses excited to mate. Oh, like a horse mating potion. Yeah. yeah. Do we have? That? We have. I mean, we have uh, like libi- like libido. Things. Yeah, like the rhino yeah, pills. Right. Yeah. We have, we just have yeah. some rhino pills. In the yeah. Room. It's not really yeah. a potion, but we is have. that what you're looking for? Yeah, that'll work. And I need a potion to heighten all my senses. We got that. To make everything feel cr- like way more. Yeah, okay. Molly, yeah, we got that. Yeah, we have and Molly. Yep. Do you have a potion um, that could just lock me into place so that like no force could move me? Yeah, like, we have maybe this... pin me up against the wall and like nothing would be able to move me. What about like a rope? I mean, just streamline the potion thing. You just do a rope. You yeah, the potion rope. doesn't always, it's not 100% effective for for the movement thing, but rope would be. You know what? I'll just take a potion that make, makes me numb from the waist down. <laughs> We have you guys have that. We have that. Just fr- actually from the neck down, just totally numb. Do well, you like that? it's the same potion. It's just the dosage, I guess. Yeah. Um, so you want? So, so, I'm just want to keep track of this energy, mm-hmm. strength, stamina. I need to last stamina. as long as possible. Why do you? Why do you need? I thought this was no. I mean, the, what did I say? The, why, I need the horse potion. But why would you want the horse to last? Why wouldn't you want it to be? Cr- Quick breeding is easier, right? Look, no? dude, my wife's gonna kill me if I don't. Get <laughs> Again, I don't know this. She just handed me this list, and she's always, you know, she's a battle axe. Um, yeah. So it's best if you guys just kind of hurry along. I get it. Oh, I get it. You know what? I have. She gave me this coupon for a potion. I don't even know, just whatever that is, and then I'll get the heck out of here. Potion to shrink small enough to climb into the horse's butt and to breathe cum instead of air. Yeah, we don't have that. Hmm. I. We don't. No, have no. That. Actually, I think that one we just got that in. Oh, we did. Yeah, we did. Yeah. Oh, um, great. My wife will be thrilled. Great. Great. Hey, happy wife, happy life. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Goyo, the Goy man, <laughs> yeah. who strikes again. Yeah. Um. Okay. Cool. Can I have the? I'll just run to the back and get all this for you. Then. Is there anything else? Oh, I should probably hold on to this. I'll just take it. For I should bit. probably hold on to this. It's okay. What's on it? Okay. <laughs> I mean, if you don't swallow it, I'm going to ask for it. But okay, swallow it. <laughs> um, you, my, did you actually swallow it? Well, my wi- my wife. She she would lose her marbles if I didn't get all the stuff. 
Last time I, I forgot I forgot the potion. Uh, last time I forgot the potion uh, that makes you numb from the waist down. She's gonna freak out if I don't have that. I actually realized we are recycling came today, so this is gonna have to. If you wouldn't mind just eating this one as well. Yeah. I don't think I'll be eating that one. Free, oh. free potions if you eat it. <laughs> all of them are yeah. life. They're for all free life. if you eat it for life, if you eat that one too. And you guys will laugh if I eat it? We'll think it's hilarious. We'll tell everyone, like, yo, dude, Finn came in here, he's like eating fucking. Yeah, <laughs> you I mean, guys like, will laugh if I eat it. I'll laugh dude, dude, no. dude, the Goy Man is going to laugh if you eat that. That's his favorite shit. Is it really like is. Eating dude. They fucking. Oh, God, yeah. it gets me every time. And you guys think it'll be better for the character if I eat it? This yeah. Time? <laughs> what character? I don't even know. <laughs> you guys, I just think. You guys think the clip will go viral if I eat a second piece of paper? I think in this realm, eating paper is kind of normal. That's it, just like a part of every day. It life. is. Yeah, I don't know what character you're talking about, but like, yeah. I wouldn't be like, that worried about it if you're about to get fucked by a horse. I would say, Whoa. I would say, putting. Oh, I'm sorry. What? <laughs> fucked by a a horse? Is that not what the combination of potions was for? <laughs> Look, dude, I don't know what my wife wants these potions for. Just put them. Do you have a wife? Do you have one? I didn't know you were married. You're not wearing a ring. Wait a second. I think I'm at the wrong potion, st <laughs> potion store, so I'll just take the grocery list back, and I'll get out of here. Cool. You ate that one. I'm going to need you to eat that one. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. If you just want to <laughs> pop that in and swallow it. I think I'm good. I think the character's over. <laughs> <laughs> Did you actually eat the first one? Yeah. <laughs> Can you do that? It's paper. You should go to poison control. Are you serious? It's paper. <laughs> With a little yeah, bit of glue and some paper all the time. <laughs> the second you ate the first one, I, my brain—I was like, "I'm gonna try to get it." Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I'm aware. I didn't think you were actually gonna eat it. Well, I—I'm unpredictable. I'm avant-garde, and that's, that's what it takes, man. That's yeah. what it takes. That was—that was dedication. Good on you. Thanks. And you have one more. Yeah, Cody, do you, would you like to rip one? Yeah, hold on. You have a character. <laughs> yes, so dude. Upset. I'm so nervous, man. I know, it's okay. I mean, let's try this one. Your name is uh, Pinky Dilly Willow. Ooh. And my name is Dees. Dees? Okay. Hey, good to meet you. Hey, I'm Pinky. Hey, I'm Dees. Dees, nice to meet you. D, what's your last name? Dees? Nuts. <laughs> we got to retake this. <laughs> I got to do a different one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I thought that you were gonna be like, uh, you know what? Oh, I have yeah. to maybe do, get, add bad. a little need, more backstory. Need, yeah, I need to say. No, that was my bad. I have to add more backstory. No, that was my. Well, we can cut that part. The character was gonna okay. <laughs> cut, keep it. <laughs> Let me try another one, okay? Yeah, I should have said Pinky Dilly. Okay, Dillo. let's see. I'll be. I got I goofed it from the start. I'll be Damn, Hector Hillsbury. That's oh, awesome. Strong. And uh, I'm your therapist. Okay. And you're here for an appointment. Are we already are we <clears throat> made appointment? Yeah, and I think you're upset about something that's going on with your wife. Okay. And I don't know if it's a communication issue, but I just feel like I feel like I tell her, you know, I don't <clears throat> like when you do that. Mm. But she just doesn't listen. Am I crazy? Hmm. How does that make you feel? It makes me feel like I'm crazy. It makes me feel like like violent almost hmm. and do you think maybe part of this could be because you're not a high value man I'm sorry hmm? I'm not a what how does that make you feel how does it make me feel not being a high value what is a high value man a high value man someone deserving of you know the female gaze I think have you programmed your wife at all ever no hmm what, like training her like Interesting. a dog? Well, yeah. No. No, you haven't tried that? Hmm, no. Interesting. How's that make you feel? I'm very confused. I'm not a high value. I de I deserve love. I deserve. How much money do you make? 70, but I think mm. it might make 75 by the end of next year. Yeah, probably not enough. Yeah, she's probably fucking someone else. What? Yeah, someone with a bigger dick or, or a more confident man. You know, someone like me. <clears throat> You're fucking my wife? Hmm? Are you a high value? I'm not saying I am. I'm just saying I am a high value man. What makes you Deserving. a high value man? Oh, I make a lot of money. How much money do you make? Um, Hundreds of thousands. What? Of ruples. <laughs> what? 
That's so many rubles. Yeah. Russian currency. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I dabble in crypto a little bit, so. And you've programmed your wife? Or you've programmed my wife? Well, I have a wife and many mistresses. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You ever check out Andrew Tate? Ever? I've seen him online. Okay, you should check him out. I you should definitely subs- check him out. I don't. You should. De- I mean, why are you here? You should check him out. I don't. I think sub- it would really help you, especially you. I am. Just- I have another patient. <laughs> <laughs> that was great. That, that was, was the awesome. red pilled therapist. <laughs> I, like that a lot. I love that. That was a good one. High value man is the greatest. <laughs> yeah, imagine that, your therapist saying that to you. Is that yeah, a real I mean, phrase? High value. High, yeah. Oh yeah, that's like yeah. the one that they all use. It's awesome. Yeah. It, dude, it's... <laughs> if I am not a high-value man. I know that. You're a high-value man. And you think I am, too? Uh, Yeah, I mean, I think you could be higher value. <laughs> I think you're a high-value man. I'm kidding. You are a high-value man. Clip that. <laughs> Clip that and send it to me, please. <laughs> you are a high-value man. Can you say it like my dad would? Can you say it in his voice? Uh, well, I'm proud of That's you. That's not what he sounds like. <laughs> <laughs> what does he sound like? I don't know. <laughs> You don't. Better. You don't know what your dad sounds like. Mm-mm. I have another one. Wait, let me try this one. Okay, please. Wait. <clears throat> it's hard because you have a concept and then you got to just improv it for a long time. I'm I really know. bad at that. You guys are so fucking good at that. You well, you don't know how much we cut. There's, yeah, yeah, okay, that's a, fair. There's a lot of fat. That gets no, that's fair. <laughs> that's what, it's, I feel like that's that's what it takes, no matter what. You know. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm Jerry Bearskin. <laughs> Dude, these are great. These are bangers. Um, <laughs> I'm in. Uh, I'm your Uber driver. Cool. Yeah. Okay, you guys get in. And maybe we're going cool. wherever you want to go. Yeah. Going to a bar. Yeah, sure. Okay. Okay. Cool. Uh, hi for Liam. <clears throat> yeah. Oh yeah. Sweet. Yeah yeah. Get it. <clears throat> Hop on in. Thanks man. Uh, yeah. No problem. Oh, Mark and them are on the way. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Let's so uh, I'll text them right now. <clears throat> Probably be like fifteen minutes, right? Sweet. Yeah. I think so. There's water and stuff back there if you guys need. Oh, oh thank you. Yeah yeah. No problem. Appreciate it. No problem. Where are you guys heading? Uh, There's a bar downtown. Yeah. Cool. Cool. That's awesome. What's going on? Uh, just <laughs> on night plan. No, just get, getting some drinks with some friends. We cool. Seen in yeah, yeah. You ever think about just gunning it right into that wall right there? What? Is that ever? Oh, my. Right? <laughs> Dude, just full, like, pedal to the metal, just directly into that fucking brick Whoa. wall. Whoa. Oh! No survivors! Hey, hey, can you slow down a little bit? I'm not saying I would. I'm just saying. You ever think about that? Yeah. No, no, uh, uh, y- yeah. So, a birthday party or what's good? Just, like, mean some of the guys out <clears throat> for a couple of beers. Okay, cool. Yeah, casual night, right? Casual night. I could just fucking that? just bump the median right now right into that semi truck right there. I could do it. Oh my god, I could fucking do it. Are you all right? <laughs> Dude, and I thought I would. Is this your first fucking Uber ride? Are you okay, man? So late night tonight or is it just kind of casual drinks? <laughs> casual, casual, casual drinks. Yeah, I was out for casual drinks before this. My door Before fun. this. Yeah. Casual? What is casual? Oh my god, that family right there. I could just gun it right in. Hey, whoa, 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 whoa! Oh, don't write into them. What is just, it? I'm ca- not saying I would. I'm saying it's intrusive thoughts. <laughs> you ever get those? No. Yeah, but I, 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 have I them. could. I, I could drive right off a fucking cliff right now and kill us all. I no, please. We I'm don't. not saying I would. The, the thing about intrusive thoughts is that you don't tell them to other. You just like. F- I'm gonna pick up this homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, that was great this homeless guy's got a knife I think he needs a ride <laughs> <laughs> that was fucking great Jerry, yeah, that's, Jerry that was awesome Truth of Thoughts Uber driver uh, I hope that's a new one I feel like I stole that from somewhere I hope I didn't I stole um, a character last episode do you ever do that you like yeah do you self-consciously episode. like steal something and then you say it and you're like wait that sounds really familiar did I steal that's that that's literally exactly what happened what happened I, I did what did my, you do I did my character and I said I feel like that's been done and Liam goes yeah, it's the like one of the most popular sketches to come out of SNL the last <laughs> three years, and I was like, "Oh shit, it is." What was yeah. the character? It was like uh, I'm defending someone getting bullied, okay. but I'm bullying them by doing that. Like, <laughs> you know good. what? So what? They do have crap, but it's like that's an SNL sketch where John Krasinski defends his little brother. That's really funny. Yeah. I suck, and I have to move. I have to move home and get a sales job now. Crap. Yeah. Ah, ah shit. bummer. Didn't work out. Vag. All right, let me look at this other one I got. I can feel the paper stuck inside me. <laughs> I really don't like that you did that. Why it's did probably you do fine. that? It's probably cool. It's not. Did you like plan You're gonna on doing one, that before the, the one I was so nervous about eating the paper, I did it like a hundred times last night to make sure. <laughs> to, just to make sure that it would go smoothly on the pod. I really hope that you, you pass that with no issues. My 
large intestine looks it's pro, it's made of paper mache, right? Yeah, now, yeah. Essentially. It's all like, you know, yes. cut up and bleeding. Yes. Yeah. But I feel great. But <laughs> it's a but. But you have another character? Yeah, I guess you see something. My next character is you've eaten this. That's <laughs> awesome. What's his name? Cheds. Chiz. Cheds. Jizz. Um, wait, I, 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 I have one. Yeah, oh, we have one more. Have yeah, 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 yeah. I got one. Oh, yeah, yeah dude, rip it. <clears throat> I we're just a group of pals. We're all like, you know, hanging out. You guys are doing your okay. mama jokes, and I'm kind of like just watching. Okay. Okay. Oh, uh, uh, I got. I heard a good one. Your mama's so fat, she's got her own zip code. <laughs> oh yeah. fuck! Your mama is so divorced. Your dad and her don't talk anymore. Uh, I, yeah, that's, wait, so this is what are you guys doing? Situation. What, what is this called? Oh, it's like yo mama, yo mama jokes. Yo mama jokes. Oh, I, it's going back and forth. I got it's one like where you say like yo mama so fat, and then how fat she is. It's okay, like, I got one kind of like that. I could do one. I could do one on Will. Right? Okay. Okay. Sure. Right. Okay. Uh, yeah, I love these. <laughs> yo mama daydreams about never meeting your dad and never having you because she married into a lower class family and like she grew up rich and she got married young and she thought choosing love over wealth was like a noble decision. But the older she gets, the more she just like straight up regrets that decision. Like she used to look down on her parents for like being rich and feel guilty about having like a rich lifestyle. But now she like really misses it. Like she misses the frequent vacations and like the fancy dinners and she misses like all the social life and stuff and the shopping (laughs) sprees. But most of all, like literally most of all, yo mama's just bored. Like she's just bored as fuck with her life and who she's become like no matter how much vicodin or wine she takes like it'll numb it but like she can't fill that void because she regrets being in the family that she started like <laughs> yo that was fucking good dude oh my god he just got you so good dude yeah. and she's yeah. fat and she's fat as fuck <laughs> dude <laughs> Yeah, she dude. has a problem with her weight. Yeah, she does. Yeah, dude. yeah, yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. You want to get, get me? Get me? Get me? Yeah, get, get, get me him. back. Get me back. Uh, uh, yo, mama's uh, so dumb. <laughs> Sorry. You crying? No, I was just thinking of something else. Are you good? Dude, it was a joke. Yeah, I thought this was like the yo mama joke. Yeah, it's, it's like, like what we do. I know. It's just like it was weird how much. And it's, it's weird how much of that lined up with like a situation I'm going through. That is the situation. I thought that was the thing. Yeah, it's like the exact situation. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what's happening. Like, oh, okay. So it was on purpose. No, it was a joke. I thought I was like, this is a coincidence. It's real, but I'm ki- I'm fucking. It's around. like fucking around, dude. It's like yeah. it was we're weird. hanging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> nah, I do. Nah, me. you play too much. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that's that. <laughs> that was fun. That was good. That was I, hey, I enjoyed that one. That was good. That was fun. Yeah, yeah. Taking a quick break to talk about Babbel. Estás Estás disfrutando, disfrutando de, de mi podcast. podcast. Thanks, Thanks to Babbel. I know what, I know that, what means. that means. I know what it means too. Do you? Yes, I do know what it means. Do you? I've been using Babbel. You don't. You better start using Babbel. And did you know one in five Americans have learning a new language on their bucket list? Well, with Babbel, you can start learning a new language in just three weeks that's, you can learn a language that's insane that's nuts that's nuts it's, i can't wrap my cabeza around that i don't know you know who's been doing a lot luke Knoll. luke Knoll's been on Babel recently yeah when we were in hotel room he would have it out loud he's learning french with Babel, you can learn everything you need to have real world conversations from vocab words to culture, culture. and all it takes is 10 minutes a day okay yeah. here's a special limited, limited time, time deal, deal for our listeners to get you started right now Get 55% off your Babbel subscription, but only, only, only for our listeners, okay? At babbel.com slash Friday. So you're telling me you can get 55% off at babbel.com slash Friday? That's spelled B-A-B-B-E-L dot com slash Friday? That's what I'm telling you. I am saying rules and restrictions may apply to this. Well, obviously, Liam. So let's just get back into that episode, but you better start using fucking Babbel or I'll freak out. I'll freak out. Did you guys see that, like, the the UK, like, banned XL bullies or whatever? I did. Yeah, there's a lot of funny memes about that. Wait, what what is it? They ban, like, a specific type of dog that's... uh, It's like a pit bull. Yeah. But, like, small, like, more dense... It's like it's like a small. It's fucking sick. I mean, it's literally called a bully. XL bully. XL bully. No, there's these things are so funny though because the breeders for them make their ads like a like a rap mixtape. <laughs> You've never seen this? No. Oh my god! Go, like search XL bully flyer. Oh my god! No fucking way. Yes, dude. 
No. But is that <laughs> not like a movie does that not poster? Make you want to buy one of these fuckers? Yeah, it does, yeah. dude. I want one. I want to. I would need to see it with a tire in its mouth. A big <laughs> yard Are dog. you kidding me? That thing's jacked. His name's Apollo. Yeah. Oh my god. Katara Bankroll versus... bullies. <laughs> Bowser. Nemesis, Nemesis and cheat code. Oh, dude. <laughs> that, does, that sounds like the underworld. Are, from one of your sketches. Yeah. Are those the the parents? What? Nemesis and cheat code. Yeah, that must be like who breeds the puppies, maybe. Liam and I had a, a <clears throat> good names for hacker duo, uh, Digit and Decimal. Yeah. Oh, good, that's right? really good. And when the president gets all of his uh, like old tweets leaked and he gets canceled, we have to hack into the entire world and cancel the entire world. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so the trailer is like, you, wait, wait, wait. You, you want us to uncancel you? And he's like, no, I want you to cancel everyone. <laughs> that's really good. <laughs> and that's the... Yeah. You know what? You know what... Uh, the, what this is relevant. I I listened to a podcast one time and they were talking about this. I think it was this guy Naval. You ever seen his stuff? He's Sounds kind of familiar. like a Sounds like a modern day like tech philosopher sort of. One time I was listening to a podcast with him and he was like, "I think that there's something that will happen eventually, where the whole world's like iMessage, like someone will hack iCloud at one point and the entire world's entire message history." Or basically, someone will hack like you know the main like Amazon, um, you know whatever what's, what's it called, the, oh, their uh, fucking service that uh, every main every yeah. like internet service it's like web. is hosted on. Yes, like someone will hack that one day, and everyone's text logs from every single app will get leaked. I believe that, and there'll be a big database where you can just search up every fucked up thing that anyone's ever said, and so like everyone will get canceled at the same time. Also, if someone had that, they would have infinite power. Cause they could go, they could just do like a keyword search and see who said what, and go to them and be like, "Give me this amount of money, or I'll share this with everyone." So yeah, no, no, but you couldn't. That would have no power in a world where everyone could access some database where you could look up what oh, anyone yeah. has if said. If that was public, then yeah, 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 that would be fucking incredible. So you could like, search, right? Like, you could search the fact that like Will said the N word. Yeah, I mean, well, if you well, search, well, if you well, if you definitely like that. control F, and when like N word, it'd be like Will, you know, yeah, like yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. if it was like sorted by how many times it was said. Yeah. It definitely would be you like up near the top. Yeah, top, yeah it top would be like every date on the calendar. Yeah. Yeah. We have three or four pings. <laughs> pings, I think they're called. Yeah. I don't yeah, I, I there'd be some stuff. You'd be all you'd <laughs> be, be all some right. Stuff. I'm thinking about it. I'm you'd getting nervous okay. thinking about it. It's a it's a being a horribly like kind of dark thought, but at the same time you're like, that would be it, it would just make everyone because everyone probably would be if you're one of the people like, I don't say anything bad you know not that i say anything really bad right. but like everyone is a little you could like you'd get exposed for everything you said about anyone else yeah everyone has said some shit about someone in their life that they haven't told them in their, and to then, their face yeah and then there's no context to anything <clears throat> so it's like you'd be toast I'd you make toast. like a dark joke it's like it doesn't matter yeah no yeah yeah, yeah. It's just yeah this thing has been said by this person yeah i'm pretty two-faced i get exposed in a lot of relationships i'm in right now would yeah. you? <laughs> I talk a lot of smack about everyone. It kind of sometimes it just feels nice. I told this happened recently where I was with this guy we work with and we were in Cincinnati and I was just like talking shit about everything. And he was like, it was, I, we were drinking. And I, he was like, I was really sorry that you like you feel this way about these many things. I'm like, no, I don't really feel this way about anything. I'm just like, <laughs> just like and I like saying, <laughs> like just like spewing venom for a little yeah, bit. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, nothing. It is yeah. a little cathartic sometimes, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. yeah, it is. But I do find myself sometimes I'm like, you know, when you hit like the 30 minute mark, you're like, all right, this is. I gotta stop. Yeah, you know this is like having a negative effect on probably my life and my mental state right now. You know, well, I try to like punch, talking. It uh, feels like almost like watching porn when you talk shit for too long. <laughs> to me, it does, yeah. doesn't it? Like you kind of get the people's guilt where you're like, I shouldn't be fucking doing this. <laughs> Liam, like, it's bad. I don't know why, but it's bad. I get it. I know exactly what you're saying. That's hilarious. Then you're alone feels right so after, and like your friend leaves, and you're like, Why did I do that? <laughs> yeah. He was on his phone a lot while I was talking. <laughs> or you're like, he probably thinks that I'm just a giant piece of shit and yeah. I'm going to talk shit about him. Yeah. No one likes right. the angry guy. Like, the full-blown angry all the time guy that's always just like, fuck this and fuck everyone. Yeah, yeah. You got to like spin it a little bit. You got to calm it down. Sometimes yeah. it's nice. Sometimes yeah. It feels Same sort of thing. Good. Really good. So fucking good. It feels good to be the angry guy once in a while. It feels yeah. good to look down on people. And that's true. That is, that is, yeah. don't do it all the time, but it feels kind of nice. kind of yeah. what this podcast is about. <laughs> yeah. No, it is. Uh, I just know I would never eat paper for any reason. Yeah, for a bit, just to like try to make Cody. I would laugh. never, ever do that. So. <laughs> you could like I, feed I, it to your baby, though. That wouldn't be quite. But I have a clip of you saying I'm a high value man. So 
I got what I wanted out of this podcast, and we can sink the rest of the footage. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> <laughs> sink it at the bottom of the fucking ocean. <laughs> no, let's sync it up. I thought you were talking saying sync oh, it up in, a, in, like a, in an editor. You were clever. Yeah. <laughs> He's good. Yeah, man. There's more. Dude, you got to do something. You got to do your own. <clears throat> I got another dad question. Are you going to start dressing differently when the, when the child is born? Like, what's wrong with the way I dress now? Nothing, but you don't look like a dad. I don't? No. Really? You don't think <laughs> no. you couldn't see me, like, carrying a fucking kid? If I had, like, a little baby Bjorn or whatever? I, dude, I, I, I just see dads walk around to L.A. like they're fashionable and they're holding a baby. I'm like, dude, throw on some khakis. Get some New Balances. Yeah. Stained collared shirt. No, you're right. Like, Especially in Venice. You gotta look. Do you notice that? Like, all the families are, like, the kid is dressed impeccably. The dad is always so fucking cool. Yeah. It's like, How? I don't like it. Where did you learn? I don't like it. None of them look sad. No. Which I don't get. Yeah. Like, are, <laughs> Dallas, they're all sad. Like, their eye bags are, are dragging two <laughs> feet behind them, and they're, like, fed up with ha- being in a family. Do you ever have, like, the arguments with your dad where you're like, I'm not wearing this. He's like, you're going to look fucking sharp. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Put this on. It's 90. He's got a leather jacket down to his ankles. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck are you wearing, dude? <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> like, I want that for you, man. <laughs> I want that for you and your son. <laughs> So I should I should buy a leather trench coat or just like make him dress like get, make him dress like a dickhead when he's like five. Oh, just, that would be pretty good. Yeah, like it just like um, just like a total douche. Just sweaters and like just weird shit. Yeah. Get him like Merrells. Get him Merrell shoes for a while. What are Merrells? I my dad maybe wear Merrells. <laughs> what are Merrells? Like, look up Merrells, dude. Speed Demon. Yeah, those are Merrells. Oh, oh, yeah. oh <laughs> fuck, these, these are. The, I've had, I've wait, had wait. Had these are like coming back, by the way. They're comfy as shit. Merrell is like a trending trending brand now. Well, this is what I think of when I think of Merrell's. The, this kind. Oh, oh yeah. Is that what you're talking about? I had those like... Ugly. I didn't have those. I those had the dad shoes. I had like those ones. Yeah, yeah. On the right. These? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think when I see that, I think of like those camping are, shoes. Those are kind of like back in style. Really? Yes. They you weren't, they weren't when I was in my youth. I've worn this outfit the last 30 days. Like this <laughs> like this brand sent me some shit actually in the mail really? recently. Yeah. Maybe maybe it's because they were like, oh, you're me a dad. <laughs> but it's like it was all streetwear shit. It was like oh, collabs with like yeah. I don't know, like North Face and shit. Like You're gonna have to stay quiet too when he's he starts doing his own fashion moves, his canon events. Like I got really into hair gel in fourth grade. Yeah. I'd yeah. go into my dad's room and I was like, I'm gonna every strand of my hair should have gel in it <laughs> and i would go to school with just like the most fucked up hairdo ever and my dad would be like sure you want to use that that's a lot of gel you're <laughs> yeah. using right there yeah yeah no no i'm embarrassing for sure yeah 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 that that axe apollo <laughs> yeah potent and you're gonna turn some heads when you walk around like that did you like, ever have like the frosted tip or like the gel with the color in it no oh my god it was called like something ice and it was like you get blue Mm. And it was like that gel. It would spike your hair up like crazy, but then it would oh, my put colored tips that. on it. That's sick. It was Thank sick. God, I didn't have that. I, yeah. I used to, I had a phase of wearing like, you know, like the snowboarding beanies where there's, there's like oh. a small cap and there's just a beanie. A <laughs> yeah, small yeah, yeah. yeah. No, I, would, I would like be like, no. <laughs> yes. Dude, I thought I was the sickest motherfucker for having that. I mean, Dude, that, prob- that honestly probably looked better than your hair did in that one episode. It, yeah. It, <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Someone else's scalp resting on top of it. <laughs> yeah. Dude, it's gonna sit with me forever. It's what? Gonna, it's gonna sit with me forever. <laughs> yeah, picturing you in that skull cap is like just knowing your bullying history. I'm just picturing like Sid from Toy Story. Yeah, that's that was much you what, growing up. Yeah, but I would take it out of my toys. Yeah, I do experiments. <laughs> I do a lot of experiments. One time, my friend. Uh, Showed me an experiment when we were. I went over his house in fifth grade, and he he pooped into a uh, Tupperware and put grass in it, and he had it in the woods, <laughs> and it was the coolest thing I've ever seen. I was like, "What?" That's an experiment. Yeah, he said. What is he experimenting? You have thoughts on that? With. He was going to see what happened. What was the result? I don't know. I never looked back. <laughs> I saw it once. I was like, "This is good work." You're what are the potential outcomes of that? Starting like a whole like I don't know, like a ecosystem in this Tupperware thing. Oh, it's, true. Yeah, like a little... You know, an ant gets in there, it gets big and strong from his poop. Wait, farm, tell him yeah. about the piss closet. Oh, yeah. This is one of my... This kid I know used to play uh, like zombies in his basement and he wouldn't want to like stop playing to go upstairs and use the bathroom. So he'd <laughs> walk over to this closet door, open up the door and piss while he's playing into the closet and he did it for months. And then finally his mother came downstairs and was like, why does it reek like piss in our basement? <laughs> and she opened the closet and he's like, mom found the fucking... 
you found a clock. <laughs> what was in there? Just just straight fried up piss. piss? Yeah. <laughs> like if you look up look up the piss drawer, it's exactly the piss drawer thing. Have you ever seen the piss drawer? <laughs> no, I don't think so. So this this like toddler was pissing into a uh, <laughs> a drawer, and his mom found him. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> mom found the piss drawer. <laughs> That's really good. Yeah, have you guys, remember the cum box? Yeah. I do. What's the comeback? Oh my god, it's search like a that Reddit, one. Reddit legendary <clears throat> post of like this it, for a long time, for like ten years, it was the top post on Reddit, and it was like, "What is the secret you have that if people found out, it would ruin your life?" Top comment, come box. <laughs> just two words, and then and then this guy goes, uh, or no, no, he he listed something really long, and then he goes, "Oh, also come box," and then he posted a photo of this cardboard box you've been coming into forever. Why was he coming into a cardboard box? And it was ho- why was your buddy horrendous. pissing into the closet? I don't Wait, know. Wait, search. Point. Maybe search. Look at also my cum box. That's that's not that. cum. What is that? Dude, that's is crazy. That? I actually want to puke. Oh I'm my not, god! I'm dude. not kidding. I can smell that. <laughs> <laughs> what why is it? Why is it burnt? Oh. Did he light it on fire? There's like mushrooms. <laughs> <laughs> Oh There's fuck! Mushrooms growing in it, dude. There's that's, something in there that's yeah, not. That's a better experiment that than my buddy's. Get up and thing. walk away, dude. It looks like burnt pizza. Like it looks like someone oh, my burnt the God. cheese it's on top like, of it. Like this is like a crust right here. Stop! Ew. Don't say crust. That's that's <laughs> what you get for showing me the Nair asshole video. <laughs> oh, <laughs> I forgot I did that. Yeah. Oh, same thing in the BTS. That was like the last part or whatever. Yeah. Oh man! And I was like, whoops. What was the guy in the cage? I want to. I want to show that video to someone. Show that video to someone else. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, the Mr. Which one? something. Oh my god, the one where they lower the yeah, person yeah, yeah. on the floor. Uh, it was like Doug's Fun House or something like that. All right, or like I'll figure it out. <laughs> <sighs> I just need something to go. That was of. that was a really that's a that's one of my favorite videos of all time. Hey, Cody, thank you so much for coming on, man. Yeah, thank Seriously. you. So, <clears throat> what a blast. Yeah, thank you for having time. me. Yeah. I really appreciate it. Yeah, and no uh, it was um, an honor. Because I love you guys. I think you're so funny. Well, we, we have so much fun working with you. We think you're awesome and, uh, and hilarious. So. Same, and thank you for doing the music video. No problem. Thank again. You. We would love to work together again. Yes, we appreciate your friendship. I got more music videos, so. Yes, let us know. <laughs> oh, Will, you I didn't play, think you, you'd take us up on that. You can, oh, yeah, I fully, that was just one of those. I have. Yeah, we're not doing You can play the I'll freak again. I'll walk in with your guys' uh, scheduling Lady, and we'll get it scheduled. Okay. You could be the freak weirdo that nobody likes. Yeah, maybe you could cast me. <laughs> maybe you could cast me as guy who's in it for two seconds. I know, Tyler. And, and, and as a loser. <laughs> Tyler was like, wow, man, Will must like you. Like, he doesn't do like, the fringe guy thing for, for people anymore. <laughs> I don't pick up the phone. And I was like, oh, guy. man, I really feel like a dick that I, I did that. I was like okay. writing the thing, and then I'm like, I mean, obviously Will's going to be the fucking weirdo. <laughs> <laughs> That's basically how it goes around here. <laughs> I know. Yeah. Sorry. It's okay. But you it, did so good at it. Oh, so good. It's so good. You're like perfect. That'd yeah. Be crazy. I bet if you watch the music video, like the most replayed, it'll be like just those two parts where I'm in it. Probably one of them would be your face when you're like Not peering probably. through the. <laughs> I I have a, a bot farm in Latvia, just <laughs> okay. running that same portion of the video. <laughs> okay, over that's over, why so. the spike is like this. Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks okay, for thanks, for thanks for watching. Bye. Uh, guys, live show October 5th. Be there. Bourbon Room. Stand up? Live pod. Live pod. Oh, fuck yeah. 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 That's yeah. Be fun. First one. We're pumped. Oh, yeah. sick. It's, you, you, those are fun. You've done some, right? Yeah, I just did. We did. Uh, Have you been in stuff? <laughs> that's what no. Emily's. What? That's the first thing. <laughs> Emily saw no. you at the trap shoot. Oh. She goes, oh, yeah. Cody, this is cool. Have you, like, been in stuff? <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. That's not what I meant. Have you ever though. acted before? Like, I know. It's just, it was funny. Oh, my God. No, you're a sweetheart. No, I still hate you for that. <laughs> Dude, I can't, I can't, like, I, whatever. All right, we got <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I'm All right, kidding. let's get out of here. October 5th. Be October there. 5th. See ya. Thank you, Cody.